Hello everyone, welcome back to Revisiting Minecraft. Today, we're going to be revisiting one of my other worlds from a TV show that I'm sure everyone is familiar with, Spongebob. And everyone knows what it's called, the location they're at, Bikini Bottom. And I actually built one in Minecraft when I used to be super keen on the game. Not the game, <laughs> the series Spongebob. But I used to really like uh, Spongebob back then, like I was very obsessed with it <laughs> to the point where it kind of was like my whole life and i used to um like these spongebob minecraft builds like there was one called like bikini bottom in minecraft and i was like always blown away by that it always looked cool so here it is this is the crusty crab this is kind of like the last place i've built i guess well not the last blessed place i've been to but uh let me turn on my audio real quick <laughs> Anyway, so I don't think I ever finished this though. I was planning to put like a huge glass dome around it and then put water all around to make it have like that feel from that video that I saw, but I didn't end up doing that. I don't think I ever finished this well. I didn't do too much with it. Hey, you could see a little bit of the chum bucket. I didn't actually write chum bucket on it. It says CB, <laughs> abbreviated version. Okay, so here it is. This is kind of like the main dining area. It's a little long and thin, but I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to make it too thick. So yeah, this is kind of the little dining area. Nothing too special. Uh, on the menu here, I think I wrote some things. Krabby Patty, Krabby Combo, Krabby Deluxe, and Coral Bits. I know those were a few of the items that existed on the menu. And uh, let's go to the bathroom first. <laughs> let's go to the most unexcited thing first. All right, let's close the door. All right, so here's the little things here. Yeah, I think you know what these are. These are the bathroom. Nothing too exciting. Well, I think I only put one bathroom. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know which gender bathroom I left out, but I guess I did. Uh, okay, this is a little too loud. Am I open? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to uh, monitoring my audio in my videos, but... That's fine. All right, here are the little shelf thingies that uh, existed. Uh, I used to put that, you know, you put condoms on. Here's the chest. Uh, I don't know why I have a bunch of lava in my uh, inventory. That makes no sense. Obviously, we got the little uh, stove here. This is where SpongeBob cooked and then give it to uh, Squidward on the other side. You know what that is. Uh, this is a fryer, even though this doesn't really necessarily look like a fryer. And then this is like, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> I know I, I know this had some sort of meaning back then, but I, I guess I don't remember. And if you go out here, here it is. I, oh yeah, I added the trash. Oh, that's what the lava was for. I put, uh, trash in here one day just to be like, yeah, this is a trash bin. But I ended up setting this whole place on fire and I really was angry, so I... But luckily I can exit without saving. I did the same thing in my pocket edition Bikini Bottom World and I had to rebuild it because the version's so old. I couldn't exit without saving, I don't think. I don't know, I just had a problem with that. Anyway, this is Patrick, not Patrick. This is uh, Mr. Krabs' office. Uh, I think my brother came up with this design actually. I'm just gonna open the little vault here and then grab the chest. Yeah, nothing. It's a little, I guess a little design here. Paintings on the wall, because I know he had paintings. This is where, he, you know, office. I know this is definitely a lot longer, thinner hallway in uh, the actual show, but uh, we had to make do with the kind of the proportions I built. So, yeah, nothing. Yeah, so that's kind of what I went for. <laughs> nothing too exciting, but I, it's pretty cool, you know. Anyway, let's get out of here. This is the pathway. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see uh, Patrick. Squidward and Spongebob's house. I know I built those. Those are the... And that's about it. And, oh... Uh, oh, yeah. This is the KK. KK, Krusty Crab. Yeah. And it's all wood. Get a nice tour around. Yeah, it's very long and very, uh, thin. But here we go. Chum Bucket. I didn't do a very great job with the fist back then a long time ago. This was a very long time ago. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I added uh, nice chairs. I had cobwebs, you know, to add to the fact that, yeah, this place is old and untouched, like, you know, in the actual show where it's like no one ever goes there, yet it's somehow always in business. Here's the back area where uh, Pointon stayed. He got the fryers just because, you know, he had, I think, he, yeah, he cooked stuff there. And this was uh, Karen, and then we got the little computer pad he used to type on. I used pressure plates as the little buttons he pressed on. And I guess another, like, place to wash your hands, I think. That's kind of what I was going for. That's how I built sinks back then. So, yeah. And a bunch of, uh, glowstone everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't very consistent with my, uh, placement of the glowstone. Kind of was a little, uh, weird placement, but... 
guess I had to light up the place somehow. And uh, we got these three um, houses here. We got... Oh, I built this too? Oh, weird. Oh, I built Sandy's tree dome. I, I, didn't th I don't think I remember... I don't remember building that, to be honest. I think I did actually. Yeah, okay. Now that I remember, I remember building that. That was like very late into... Uh, much later beyond that. I built the first five areas, this this area, and then the Krusty Krab and Chumbuck, and then I built that much later. Oh yeah, this is Patrick House. Nothing too exciting. Uh, but yeah, I got just basically what his house used to be. I should have built this out of sand. I feel like that would have made more sense. So yeah, it's just this chair and his TV like it usually is. There's never really any sort of details to his house. Besides that one episode of SpongeBob where like his parents came. And, like, they actually had more to his house besides, uh, you know, just the uh, chair and TV. But here's Squidward's house. Got the nice red floor. I think this is, I think that's what it was. I don't think it was red, actually, but I feel like it adds to it, and I think it fits. I did not build carpet on this side. <laughs> Oops, I guess that's a small little detail I forgot. So, yeah, chair, TV, kind of like Patrick's house. I feel like you had a little bit of detail. You can go behind there. Yes, here's the kitchen, something that... Uh, Patrick doesn't have. We got this very high up table with this slab on top of the wool block. Just a nice little fridge. Nothing inside of it really though. Uh, playing to wash my hands. I don't know. This is how I. This is how I used to build sinks that had uh, faucets. Just put a little thing here and then just build like, yep, that's a sink. And then we got a little chair here. You know, you can sit here. And you got a bunch of little flowers because you know why not? Why not make some flowers there too? Oh yeah, SpongeBob has some too, and he has the same backyard. I guess I just kind of wanted to add a little yard to it, you know, just to add extra detail to it. Anyway, let's go to the top floor. Yeah, this staircase is a little wonky, but that's all right. <laughs> I wasn't too big on building or too good, good on getting... Yeah, I wasn't very good at building. <laughs> I'm still not. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah. This is where he used to practice his clarinet. The torch is a clarinet. Yeah, don't question it. And this is uh, the note sheet. And it got a bunch of paintings because you obviously know that Squidward is very huge on painting. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Even this little quarter of paintings here. And you can look out the nice windows too. I like this. I like looking out the eyes of the Squidward house here. Anyway, I think this is the bathroom, right? Yeah, this is a tub or this is also, and I think in the uh, Krusty Krab too, like this kind of, this type of build is also like a fryer, I guess. And a way to stick fries in, I guess that's what I was also trying to do. And this is Squidward's bed. I know it was a little more fancy with like, um, the little poles holding it up. Oh, what the heck's this random little block here? I'm being so mean on my past build. It's a, it's a cool little thing. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely noticed uh, the flaws along the way and how much I've actually improved at building, but... Yeah, it had like this little bunk thingy, like the little top part, you know that. And then we got a little watch here, you know, to watch time because, you know, a little alarm clock. And I know since you could get on top of the roof in, the, uh, in, Sponge, in Squidward's house, you can actually get up here and be like, get on top of me and be like, hey, <laughs> and chill up here. I know he chilled up there in one episode. He had a chair and everything. And uh, yeah, here's a little Squidward's house here. <laughs> I like the little face. Anyway, let's go to the main star of the show. SpongeBob. I added a nice little pathway, you know, to make it extra fancy. And then you had like the placement here. Oh, okay, the ground's actually sand because yeah, his house of sand, like the floor of his sand was is that sand. Ah, you know, <laughs> I can't really speak. Anyway, this is SpongeBob's chair. You know that that red and white chair that I used to sit in and watch TV, watch TV. I think I kind of built it kind of the same way as Squidward's house. Oh yeah, this is the little library that he had. I couldn't, I made it, since in, uh, when you made it a flat land, it only goes down three blocks, so I couldn't make this basement as deep as I wanted to, but yeah, this is his little library with torches everywhere. Also, here's his little, I think he had a piano. I remember him having some sort of instrument, right? I think that's what it was. And his little chair that he used to sit in. Oh, this music's also very nice too. It fits nice and relaxing and nostalgia. Oh, I wish I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, go back time. <laughs> this is little Gary's thing. I think he had a shelf named Gary and you get a bunch of stuff. And this is another sink. Uh, this is his, uh, little bed that he used to sit in. So yeah, he used to like chill down. He used to sit here when like SpongeBob was in here. A little thing, another, uh, fridge and obviously the chair, uh, chairs and table and stuff. Same type of garden. Yeah. And let's go to the top. 
think we could just fly up because why not? Why not just fly up? Here we are. We got the little honky thing. I couldn't make the music block go off, so it doesn't really make a sound when you press it. Another little window, because I know that there's a window here. And uh, here's where Scary's to sleep. We got SpongeBob dead. And the little diving docks. He go so yeah, <laughs> this used to exist. And, like SpongeBob would jump off of it. Yeah, so the bed doesn't bounce in this version because it's that old of a version. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in a very old version of Minecraft. I don't want to change it. This is a little bathtub. I like this version of the game. I think I want to forever keep it on this version. Sink, kind of the same usual thing I use for sinks. And when you go up here, Yep, this is a little area you can go on top of, so... Yeah, this is a little area that Spongebob used to go on top of his roof for. It's much higher up so you don't fall off, but Squidward uh, House, you could fall off pretty dang easily there. And final, the final location of the, the Bikini Bottom I built that I didn't fully finish. I feel like I was going to add a little bit more to it. I don't remember exactly what I was going to build, but... I know I was, so yeah. This is Sandy Street Home, it's uh... Definitely a flat tree dome. I since this was a very big dome. I had decided to add a little more detail to it I think this was the little bird fountain that existed in uh, Sandy's house You know where the birds used to be and drink water. This is the main chair that uh, used to sit out a lot I know this was prevalent in a lot of SpongeBob episodes like this exists in every single one I added some sign stuff. I what is this? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I think this is some sort of science table uh, this was, uh, like, the little thing where, like, what was it again? Like, 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 I know Sandy kept animals in, like, that one episode. Like, there used to be animals in here, whatever, domed up in this little area here. Uh, just some shelves here. I don't know. Let's just throw it in here just because. Uh, this was, uh, just a fitness room since I know Sandy was keen on, uh, you know, fitness and being a karate master. So, yeah. Get some training in, punch the bag. I'm not going to punch because it's going to break. And you got the little treadmill, turn it on, go yeet. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, running track. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I will check it out later. Oh, yeah. This is the one episode of SpongeBob where, like, there was a bunch of um, robots that Sandy had. And then they all kind of destroyed the dome and then Spongebob ran away at the end of it and then Sandy's like, aw, Spongebob! Something like that, yeah, that's that's what that's what this is, so. And we got the little uh, running wheel that she used to have and she used to run on, so yeah, it kind of fits Sandy as she's a squirrel. And they kind of like this type of running thing, so. And I think this was a robot producing machine, so you'd go in and then I'm stuck. <laughs> Uh, is there any way out of this? Nope, I guess I have to break through. Alright, whatever. Oh, cool, it actually drops it. Okay, there you go. And then it was kind of like go in a circle, produce robots, press this thing. Oh yeah, this is how you open both doors. I guess it only opened one, though. Oh no, the pistons. Yeah, that's to like produce robots, I guess. That's kind of the thought process. Here we are, we got a bunch of torch ring, and then we go all the way up to Sandy's little area that she used to sleep in. Add a little bit more. This is her little hammock thing that she slept in, so yeah, I just make a little hammock thing here with the ladders and the bed just to make it extra cool. Got this. Just a little note block thingy. A little uh, refrigerator here. And a uh, nice little chill uh, TV here. A nice big TV. She appears to be watching the news. And this is like a science machine. I, th I think I remember this from other episodes. It's like produce something, whatever, like some came out of like a that came out of like some machinery on a treadmill or whatever <laughs> so uh yeah that was that so it's a nice little cool i like this i liked all the details i added to it for to specific episodes so if you did watch specific episodes much probably can be like oh that's pretty cool and also i kind of wanted to liven up the area a little bit more i don't want to make this all area completely empty and boring i kind of want to make it a little more interesting so yeah, this is the bikini bottom that I built. So I think it's a pretty cool map overall. Uh, if I did want to rebuild it, I definitely feel like I could have improved some things, which is good. I'm glad that uh, I'm better than my eight-year-old self, even though this world is still pretty cool and I'm still pretty proud of it overall. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.
Bye. Man, the nostalgia really hit. <laughs>